The Southview Cougars are off to a hot start, undefeated in the Cardinal Division of the NLL. Joining us in studio to talk about his team is first-year head coach, Dennis Rings. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. So first year with the Cougars, you inherited a pretty mature team. You have only one sophomore, six juniors, six seniors. What did you think about them initially, and what are your thoughts now that we're kind of at the midway point of the season? Um, I was really excited that we had a, a senior-led team this year. Um, you know, they had a lot of close games, and I knew that coming in, if we were in them close games this year, that that senior leadership would come in handy this year. So one of your senior leaders, Micah Bays, one of our top recruit players. Mm -hmm. What about him stands out from other players in the, in the league? Um, he's a phenomenal leader, first and foremost. Um, coming into the, I knew he was a great scorer. I've coached against him for the last three years. But, you know, coming into the season, I didn't know what type of kid he actually was um, in the locker room. It turns out he's a really, really good kid, a really great leader. Um, in addition to his scoring ability, he's been a great rebounder, and he's a, actually a really good passer, too. That was what was most shocking for me when um, I took over the job. I was about to ask you, what was the most shocking part of his game? And it has to be the passing, you'd say? Yeah, passing and rebounding. For his position, he rebounds really well for a guard, averaging about seven rebounds per game. It's pretty impressive for a guard. So this past Friday, the game against Napoleon mm -hmm. postponed due to the snowy weather that we had. We both undefeated mm -hmm. in the Cardinal Division. When that game does come, mm -hmm. what can we expect? Um, I know it's going to be a great game. Um, both teams will be up for it. Um, we were really prepared uh, to play on Friday. So it's going to take a little bit of motivating again to get the boys back into the same mindset that we were in on Friday afternoon getting ready to play. So 2-0 and in Cardinal play, 7-2 and overall, only losses coming to Anthony Wayne and Finley. Mm -hmm. Next two games up, Fremont Ross, Whitmer, mm -hmm. another big school from the yeah. Buckeye division. Mm -hmm. First year that the conference realignment, but you, you know, you're used to playing all these teams. Correct. How do those bigger schools prepare you for not only the Cardinal division, but maybe a run in the tournament later on? Um, it's kind of it's weird because you got those, <laughs> when those big schools uh, play the smaller schools, you know, they probably have two or three Micah bases in their school when we only have one, but um, being able to play schools like that really prepares us for a tournament run. We're really excited about it. Whitmer's a phenomenal team. So um, being able to play against that type of pressure and that type of athleticism and that type of skill will really prepare us for uh, March. So before Whitmer, you got Fremont Ross coming mm -hmm. up. What does that game look like to you guys? Um, we're going to have to keep them out of the paint. They got a lot of kids that can really attack the basket and drive. So we've been working on our man-to-man -man defense, trying to keep guys out of the paint because they got some really, really quick guards over there. So that's going to be a fun game and it's an opportunity to see what we can do defensively. Now, I know coming up later in the season, you have a few City League games. I believe one is against Scott, mm -hmm. your alma mater. Yeah, you were right. the 2001 City League Player of the Year and the Blades mm -hmm. Overall Player of the Year. How excited are you to play against the school that you grew up at? Um, it's going to be a really <laughs> bittersweet game, and I'm, I'm looking forward to it, though. It's going to be a lot of fun. Me and the principal, we're really good friends. Um, I'm still really involved uh, in the school system, so I go over to Scott quite a bit, and, and you know, I know, know, know the coaches, I know the faculty, I know the staff, so it's going to be a really fun game. I know the community is excited about it, too. People are already talking about it, so it's going to be really exciting. Speaking of communities, first one for you in Sylvania. Mm -hmm. What is that atmosphere like for you? Um, it's been great. They've been really supportive. Um, whatever I've needed, they've come through for me. Um, I'm, I really, I've really enjoyed my time so far at Sylvania Southview. All right. Well, we yep. will enjoy following up with the Cougars yep. and all your games right here at BCSN. Sounds good. Thanks for joining us, Coach. Thanks for having me.